Mbali Ntuli says she's left the DA because it does not tolerate a diversity of views in the party. And she says there are other exciting opportunities ahead. Politics is in my blood, but certainly I think that there are other avenues. I mean, there's so many civil society organizations, faith-based organizations, community leaders that are doing amazing work who don't have the kind of um, platforms to really be able to get that to be out there. So I want to go and start an organization that looks at trying to help those people. The DA in Kozula Natal has wished her well and say it's not concerned the party will lose support. I don't believe that we'll lose any support. Uh, I think uh, generally people are supporting us, and we saw that in the November election with the win in Amgani, uh, the growth that we showed in Amzunduzi and in various other areas. I think we're uh, on the path to 2024 with some exciting opportunities. One analyst believes this is a miscalculation. Um, particularly her time as, as a youth um, leader within the DA, you really saw a commitment to um, constituencies. And I think um, that's, again, where the DA is really going to have to um, think hard about, you know, its future, is that it can't just focus on national politics. Um, it must focus on um, communities, and I think that's what they stand to lose the most with somebody like Mbali departing. Another analyst says Nduli may well support an independent candidate in the next elections. She might over time position herself to be align herself with other groupings or because there will be independence in the 2024 election, maybe for that purpose to, uh, to position herself now already. And Tuli's resignation has been welcomed on social media, especially among other former DA leaders who've left the party. Govan Whittles, Johannesburg.